Greetings everyone, this is Lightstar. Welcome back to my channel where we are gonna do some more activation today. But I first want to share my gratitude to all of you for joining me on my last YouTube video, which was my first live YouTube video. And that was so much fun. I really enjoyed myself interacting with you guys and uh, the technical stuff I've tried to work out and figure out myself, but that was my first time doing it and uh, I really enjoyed it. So I'm gonna do some more of those, so stay tuned. And if you wanna see me live, for those of you who are just joining, then uh, you might want to join the channel so that you can get notified of the live events when I have them. So that was a really a lot of fun and I really appreciated you guys asking questions and commenting and all sorts of fun uh, stuff. So I may be doing some other things with different topics, but live. So I'm really looking forward to that. But today we are going to unveil my newest creation that is for the Syrian folks out there. And I just completed this image. It's been a long time and I really, really wanted to get this image out to the world. But um, my process definitely takes time to create these images and along with doing session work and helping everybody uh, to ascend here and go through this process, um, we are having a little bit of trouble getting to our timeline of all the images that I want to create. Um, so, this is a new one that I just finished and it is called, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna show it up on screen so that you can see it the whole time and then I'll talk a little bit about it and I'm also going to do a light language activation uh, from the Syrians so that you'll get a double dose Sometimes it, it just falls in line perfectly with these uh, activations that I want to do anyways, light language, but then when it coincides with one of my images that I finish or, or uh, that goes with it, I just love doing that. So let's get started here and just have you see the image right away. So I'm going to unveil, drum roll please, right? This is called Serious Solar Empowerment. Ta-da! Now, just take a moment, breathe, everybody. This image is very potent. It's one of the most powerful, I'd say, not that they're all not powerful, but literally this one at the timing of when this is out, which is now at this moment, coming out in July of 2018, but this is a very packed full month, July, and I talked about this on uh, my last live video as well as my previous video um, where I was talking about the summer energies and we are going through some serious activating from the sun and the cosmos and astro astrologically it's uh, you know a really, really packed month anyway. But so I wanted to bring this out at this time to also further assist you all because I'm gonna talk a little bit about this image, okay? First of all, and I first want to say that not, I am not bringing this image out to say like all Syrians everywhere in universes of universes all look like this, okay? No. I am only bringing through the energetic frequency um, of the image that wants to come forth and how they want to be portrayed as I'm only doing one character here in the image. So um, this is how they wanted to come across in this particular energy of this art piece. So, so first of all, let's, um, let's look at this because the Syrian energies are so strong. They have this very amazing strength about them and they're super intuitive. But one thing I wanna do while you're looking at this image that will give you the best overview of what this image is all about is I'm going to actually read the description card that came through uh, that I wrote and half of it's channeled, half of it's me, half of it's the channel, um, bringing through the energies for this image. So as I read this, uh, you can just read uh, or just look at the image and just kind of, um, you know, receive whatever you're meant to receive from this, okay? Now the first part is the essence of this card. And the essence is, 
We are the Syrian warriors of light. We serve many worlds in times of planetary transformation and ascension. By stimulating gridular ley lines, we are help uh, by stimulating gridular ley lines, we help to realign and anchor in new pillars of light that awaken and activate empowerment codes within all living beings. As planets prepare to transition into new levels of ascension, our Syrian codes assist with balancing the planetary meridians and infuse them with potent solar energy frequencies. By nature, we are powerful healers and guardians of ancient spiritual technologies that upgrade, activate, and realign the crystalline grids, DNA, and holographic templates. So that's gonna be the overview kind of coming directly from the Syrians in their frequency of what they want to share. And I also have this kind of oracle interpretation uh, that I like to provide to you guys that brings it down to, down to earth, so to speak, in layman's terms in some ways. And also, um, since these are all gonna be used in my next oracle deck, someone asked that. Yes, they're all, these images are gonna be going into a, a future oracle deck. Don't pin me down on time because I have no idea when that's gonna be out, but it will be quite some time. But the uh, oracle interpretation is, you are ready to work with the action energies of the Syrian frequency codes, which will help you become more assertive with resolving your current situation. If your health is challenged, get ready to receive a potent dose of healing energy. If you're feeling insecure or have suppressed your light, simply open the throat chakra and speak your truth. Emotions may feel more intense than usual, but this is to be expected as it initiates self-awareness. You are experiencing a profound inner transition and it's time for action. Time to terraform your life by removing the old paradigm and building the new. You may greatly benefit right now from activating and recharging your energy from Gaia and the solar rays of the sun. So this is all the energies that can assist you in your daily life, what's going on right now, getting activated. And then I've also come up with some realignments and these are just different items here on the planet, things that you can do uh, working with crystals and essences, but they always kind of give me this, I did a little bit of expanded versions in uh, these next series that I'm doing, um, but they're kind of alignments that can help you or realignments that can help you with the energies uh, to balance out, okay? So we've got throat, throat chakra clearing and activation, holographic DNA upgrades, planetary ley line clearing, Egyptian rituals, the colors of blue, indigo, and orange, chrysanthemum flowers, cinnamon essential oil, blue tansy flower essence, and crystals of lapis and orange carnelian. So I hope you guys like that. I've been wanting to actually read the description cards on my previous images and uh, I forgot when I was doing it. So now I just remembered and now I had a chance to read it to you. So uh, as you can see, these energies are super, super potent. Okay, we're having what a lot of energy from the sun right now that is activating, but the Syrians are one of the races that are the most prevalent and the, I'd say, I wanna say almost leaders in uh, doing work with the grids and the ley lines. They activate, they energize, they upgrade. Um, all Syrians that I have uh, seen, and I actually, I do this in my work as well, in sessions with clients where I see if you are Syrian or I see that uh, aspect of you that comes in when I read your soul origins, I can tell that you are adept at doing this. Uh, all Syrians have this ability. Uh, it's a very specific ability to be able to go out into nature even and on our planet, but any planet, but I'm just talking about our planet for the moment, for example, is to go out onto the ley lines of the earth and be able to feel by intuition, um, to be able to feel the energy spots that either need attention meaning they maybe need to be cleared or something of that nature, or they also can um, find and locate energy vortexes and portals that will also upgrade and enhance your energy. 
So there can be like spots where you need more clearing and then spots that are also energized. And then there's, you know, a combination maybe of the two as well. But there, the Syrian energy uh, has this really strong ability to connect with the planet um, and to be able to terraform the planet because they are master terraformers. So that is creating new life and being able to create new life to sustain whatever uh, race or whatnot that is coming in they have the ability to terraform the air, the planets, it's not just the ground, but like the different uh, molecules and things of the air, okay, and nature, chemistry and everything. So um, that's one of their very strong specialties, uh, as well as being extremely intuitive. You know, all the races are really intuitive, but um, the Syrians have a way of like really dialing right in, and they have a very strong sense of who they are. By nature, they are more assertive, and you'd say there, you can see he's in the sort of warrior position here. And I'm not really meaning in this, this image to uh, let's go to war. That's not what this is about. It's to um, bring forth the strength that they have though, in able and also the ability to, um, you know, fight for what they believe, a fight for what they feel is right. And they have a very good sense of bringing that forth of what, what is, uh, I shouldn't say right or wrong, right? We should really say more like what's positive, what can upgrade um, the positive frequency codes, and they're very good at bringing all of that in, the high energy. Um, they connect very strongly with the sun, so all Syrians are gonna be out in the sunlight is where they recharge their energies the most. And I want to just say this as a side note, because all of us recharge from the energy. We all are on this planet, and even plants, flowers, we all need the sunlight, okay? But some of us are here that um, don't recharge as much from the sun as others, okay? So Syrian just happens to be one of those races that really does recharge from the sunlight very strongly. And it's almost like Superman, you know, because Superman needed the sun to recharge his energy. It's very similar in that way. Um, so the strength of the of the Syrians is definitely depicted here. I also want to say the energy frequencies and the codes of the Egyptians, the early ancient Egyptians, uh, were the well. I should say they were under that sort of uh, influential experience from the Syrians because the Syrians are really the ones that brought the ancient builder technologies. I'm not saying they're the only race that's ever done that but they definitely had a humongous influence on the pyramids and the technologies of the pyramids and all of the different tools and different rituals and spiritual passages, uh, spiritual uh, connections that they had as well came from Syrians. So I uh, just wanted to clarify that a little bit too, but you can see the influences here, very high vibrational, high energy, and this is the perfect time to bring this image forth, and as far as I'm concerned. Um, so again, these uh, images are, are to, bring to, uh, to bring forth some uh, activation for you all, as well as the light language that I'm going to do, just in a second here, that will also enhance that. And the light language of the Syrians are, it's one of my favorite ones to do. I just love it. I mean, I love all of them because I have like over, I don't know, 20 or so languages that I actually can speak at the moment. Um, but generally speaking, I, you know, I really, really like some of them, like speaking more of them, uh, more than, than others. It's just my own preference, but I love all of them and they all do different things. But I definitely associate, uh, and I'm going to be putting this out pretty soon, that associated um, chakras with specific languages. And this came to me many years ago and I had put together, this was the basis of my light language chakra clearing. And it has to do with the certain frequencies of certain light languages that corresponded with certain chakras. And it's just the basis of my work where I was getting certain ones go with other ones. And not to say that they wouldn't cross over, but just the energies of them tend to be more activating or resonate with that certain harmonics of the chakra when it's in its, uh, let's say, in its positive 
lightning uh, upgraded position and not when it's like all, you know, needing to be cleared, okay? But what I'm saying, like the heightened uh, aspected uh, placement of each chakra that is in its uh, beautification mode and it's healthy and it's vibrating and it's balanced and all that and vibrates to a certain frequency code that just I have put this together from my own guides, my own higher self and uh, what I feel is assisting others in my session work. So when we look at the Syrian, I'm just uh, associating with this the throat chakra. So the throat chakra is very, 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 and did I say very, important in our timeline because we're just really, all of us as a collective, are just really starting to stand up and speak our truth. Um, and particularly women, but not only women. It's just a time period where we are learning so much about what has kept us from speaking up, being assertive, to how we have been controlled and manipulated and not being able to speak our truth and cut off. Um, namely, look at the times in our past, in our, well, our past, which is really, there is no past, present, future. It's all happening at the same time, in case y'all didn't know. It is. So, but if we look at this in terms of previous lives or, you know, things of that nature where we were hung, you know, for speaking our truth, we were choked. We were literally cut off right here. And so this very much affected our ability for speech, communication, and for our intuition, especially. So this is what we're going to assist here in clearing some of that with this particular light language a frequency code, but it's also going to just overall for whatever, whoever is listening to this that needs whatever they need to receive from it. It's just that I would highly recommend you all focus on your throat chakra as you're listening to this so that you can get the best benefit for it. For those of you who are actually working on throat chakra clearing, um, which basically is all of us. Let's face it, it's not just the people that are suppressed and can't speak out because they have been suppressed. This is also for the people, and those of you that know who you are, that are way too outspoken, who have um, you know, put on a little bit too much energy frequency in the throat chakra to influence other people, to um, control or manipulate, and that kind of thing. So, either one is out of balance, right? So the whole point is to keep us back, come back into that balance point, and that's what this frequency uh, is all about. So let's do some light language for this, okay? So what I want everybody to do is focus again on the throat. Um, for those of you who are new to light language or just coming up uh, upon this video, uh, just so you know, I also have previous light language uh, activations on my videos, my channel that has like playlists, and you can go back to one of the earlier ones that actually talks about what light language is so that you can kind of get a more overview about what is this anyway, and um, that can really help, okay? But for those of you that have watched my channel, you guys are like old pros at this and you know, uh, but generally speaking, just make sure that you're opening your heart here and listening with that uh, tool instead of the mind because the mind is not going to understand any of this it's going to sound crazy gibberish whatever it's not going to understand it from this perspective so we want to take that mind and put it off to the side just for this time and open the heart and just feel your body and feel and become aware of the sensations that are that are happening in your body from this particular language some of you, uh, you feel it in different places. So I can't tell you that you're oh, we're gonna feel it in the throat. Some of you actually might be feeling it on your feet while we're working on the throat or the head or your left hand or your back or something like that because it doesn't make any sense from the mind. So we can't figure it out from that place. So please don't even try. <laughs> it's just like not gonna make sense. But we wanna open the heart and allow the energies and the codes of this as I speak, as I transmit this, to work through your energy field and into your cells and into your DNA. And that's where it also starts to turn on, flip on the switches uh, to activate 
in many different ways. So, um, so here we go. I'm just gonna go tune in here for just a second to get to the Syrian transmission and allow this to commence. Gemal alekin sekanal ekish tintal sukal ak am ash te eksta sukolak kal akal mek vek esti al al ekishtor makefen bereste amake akushtak lakin aste kel el akal mash shok utulak kal make so lokuklek ale so tokulu ulak kalma vastini imik vastiesh berekem bende sak la tu lokuna kalas to make vesh verso kukulak must beshti vanti alek nastak kala kek shemyak gulak nasti im Besh ush al akal amse beete akam ebeste wash akal el al aki kumuno omosta vakin bere er akal al ekhek asto ukashi akamte veki al akel besiyash akafene ekele aka leki ishi akal Maste ekela, vaki alakak nast a kalemik. Ulakasto ulakim alaki ukule shenta asta umaki ukula. Gosto pashemete astu, beeki kugula kante usaki te. Meeso, mashi ikihuma ala kamaki bes, besheki teal, mak varia. Dara kek unusto kukial akushum te kul malakal kalake akul shakikikir al makefen dal al me shek mat ane tuk ush ak wakal emekfek sok ulak ush shom ak al akushohum tal mak bere uku oromakal kaste veki ukalime iku shakba Dero kal al makek bereak. Okay, everybody take a breath with that one. Nice deep breath in. Filling your entire body with light, with love, with strength, with empowerment, with courage. Let it roam around in your energy field, filling yourself with that love. These are very loving beings, very high frequency, and bring a sense of strength and balance back into your energy field as well. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that bit of an activation for everyone and everyone who is coming across this. We'll get activated in uh, multiple ways, but uh, we got this dual activation from the energy frequency of the art as well as the transmission. And um, so we'll leave it at that. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And if you'd like to work with me further, you can go onto my website at lightstarcreations.com where I have all of my artwork and all my goodies on there that I have my art, um, got my Oracle deck, my Magical Dimensions Oracle deck. I have um, all different types of custom artwork where I can create uh, art portraits, I can create light codes uh, for you, custom light codes, custom light language activations even, and recording and audio format, as well as um, my session work that you can check out as well. So lots of goodies on there, and I really, really appreciate you guys watching and, and uh, staying on my channel. So those of you that just came across my channel and would like to join in in this community, 
um, please go ahead and join my YouTube channel and you can stay up to date on what's going on. I always have my Oracle consciousness readings, my um, light language activations. I sometimes have special guests that come on here and who knows what will happen in the future, but that's all the goodness. I know I'm gonna be doing some live events as well where you can interact and ask questions and all sorts of stuff like that. So that's all super fun. And um, just wanna keep you guys in this high vibrational frequency as long as we possibly can uh, to get through this summertime and through all the energies that are flowing in. I am sure I will, will be back. I don't know exactly when, but I will be back um, I know I'll probably do another live event this summer and then, um, you know, you can just go onto my website and check out all my stuff there and uh, contact me if you have any questions. So from that, I hope you've enjoyed this beautiful activation and I will see you guys very soon. Sending you off with lots of love from the galactics, the angelics and the elementals and, um, and beyond. So sending you lots of love, lots of blessings. Bye now.